family, the second of ten children. His mother, Terry, the daughter of legendary Dodgers owner Walter O'Malley. As a youngster in Pasadena, Peter played all sports, but gravitated to baseball and tennis. As Peter grew older, he became a role model, often coaching his younger brother's sports teams. The fun and life lessons of sports were ingrained into the Seidler family. On instinct, and after visiting several East Coast universities, Peter chose the University of Virginia, where he studied commerce. And after graduation, he got his start working for Bank of America. Peter would also go on to earn his MBA from UCLA. Perhaps inspired by his father, Roland, who owned his own financial services business, Peter had a growing determination to start a business of his own, ultimately co-founding Seidler Equity Partners with his brother Bob in 1992. As managing partner of SCP, this private equity investment firm provides capital and management support to founders of entrepreneurial companies across the United States and Australia. After meeting in the coffee shop of the Los Angeles office and dating for a couple of years, on February 29, 2008, Peter married Shield in a small ceremony in Ireland, beginning their wonderful life together, raising three beloved children, Sadie, Shanti, and Harry. Peter has shared a love for sports and life with his own family. Our Padres ownership group yesterday completed the purchase of the San Diego Padres. We could not be happier. In 2012, Peter led the group to purchase the San Diego Padres, reshaping the franchise with sizable investments that significantly improved the team, the ballpark, and the community. Our Padres ownership group shares a long-term vision, a love of the great game of baseball, and a sense of urgency to work hard and generate exciting winning baseball in San Diego. On the field, Padres built an impressive roster of star players and made major commitments to several of them, including Fernando Tatis Jr., Manny Machado. I want to thank Peter, the whole Padre organization. I'm truly blessed to be here, truly blessed to be a part of the organization. Xander Bogarts, Hugh Darvish, Jake Cronenworth, and homegrown Joe Musgrove. The 2020 Padres ended a 14-year playoff drought by advancing in the postseason and winning their first round postseason series against the St. Louis Cardinals. The 2022 Padres went a step further, advancing to the National League Championship Series by upsetting two 100-win teams, the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. series clinching went over the Dodgers in front of an adoring sellout crowd at Petco Park will forever be a top moment in San Diego sports history. During Peter's ownership, the team invested meaningfully to enhance city-owned Petco Park and create a best-in-class fan experience. It is now regarded as one of the best and most family-friendly sports venues in the country and has been USA Today's number one ballpark for several years in a row. Off the field, Peter and the Padres were impactful leaders in the community. Under Peter's leadership, the Padres Foundation increased its annual donations by more than tenfold from 2012 to 2023, dramatically enhancing support for the underserved communities in San Diego and Baja. The Padres heightened support for local organizations such as Brady Children's Hospital, Monarch School, Make-A-Wish, Build a Miracle, and Veterans Village. In addition, Padres Pedal the Cause has raised more than 18 million for local cancer research. What we're all gathering here for is to support the great research and treatment that goes on here in San Diego. And the wonderful thing about this event is that every dollar goes to the research and to the treatment. Peter's primary personal mission has been relieving the suffering of the homeless. In 2017, in collaboration with San Diego's political, business, and philanthropic leaders, 
Peter Falk, the Tuesday Group, which meets weekly to address homelessness in San Diego. The primary goal of this group is to render much needed aid to the most vulnerable segments of the homeless population. Among many honors over the last several years, Peter was named the 2022 San Diegan of the Year by the San Diego Union Tribune and was honored with the Herb Klein Spirit of San Diego Award by the San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce in 2023. As a two-time cancer survivor of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Peter, along with his wife, Shield, have focused their philanthropic activities on health and medical matters, particularly health issues among children impacted by homelessness. They have also supported numerous charities, including the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, the American Cancer Society, Homestar, San Diego's charity targeting the prevention of child abuse, and various health and wellness initiatives at the Bayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Peter has been a significant donor to Stand Up to Cancer and a primary donor to the Lucky Duck Foundation, San Diego's leading nonprofit fighting homelessness. Peter was a member of the Board of Trustees and chair of the Student Affairs Committee at the University of San Diego. He was also a member of the Board of Trustees at Sanford Burnham Previous Medical Discovery Institute. His philanthropy, love for the city of San Diego, the Padres, and his family will continue on in all of our hearts forever. Peter Seidler, we celebrate your tremendous life and legacy with joy and love.